Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 68. That is, explain boundary value analysis with an example. Let me answer. Boundary value analysis is one of the black box test design techniques, and it is an extension of another black box test design technique known as equivalence class partitioning. But what is the purpose of boundary value analysis? The purpose of using the boundary value analysis is same as the purpose of using the equivalence class partitioning. That is, the purpose is to filter out the finite possibilities of test data for testing the software from the infinite possibilities of test data. Okay, out of the infinite possibilities of test data that we can use for testing the software, which is possible to test. Okay, using this boundary value analysis and equivalence class partitioning test design techniques. We are going to filter out the finite possibilities of test data, which we can use for performing the testing without compromising the risk of software. Okay, without compromising the risk. That is what is the purpose. Okay, so already equivalence class partitioning test design technique is able to filter out the finite possibilities of test data from the infinite possibility of test data, which is not possible to test the software. But why again boundary value analysis is required? It is required. For a purpose, okay. Let me give you an example, guys. Okay, let's say there is a text field, okay, which will accept the age. Okay, let's assume that there is a text field which will accept the age from from 18 years to 25 years. Okay, let's say there is a text field which accepts the age of a person from 18 to 25. In this case, if you apply the equivalence class partitioning, okay, in this case to uh, to Filter out the finite possibilities of test data out of the infinite possibilities of test data. If you first apply this equivalence class partitioning, black box test design technique, in that, how do you apply? First, you will create a partition here as part of ECP, guys. This is okay. If uh, as part of ECP, how do you apply the test design technique here? First, you will say valid partition. You will create a valid partition here in this valid range that is 18 to 25. You will pick some number, okay, out of this range. In this particular range, you'll pick some number. Let's say I'll pick some number like uh, 22. Okay, 22 falls between 18 and 25, right? In this range, it is applicable. Okay, one valid test data from this 18 to 25 age I took. Okay, if I enter this 22 into this age field, age field should accept that. Okay, it should work. Then only the field is working fine. I can test. Okay, this is a test data case. Okay, valid test data. Now, similarly, I'll create an invalid test data where I'll take a random number which is above 25. Above 25, this age field should not accept, right? After 25, it can be 26, 27, 29. Infinite possibilities of test data are there. But I am not going to test this field with all the infinite possibilities of test data, right? Above 25, some random value I'll take. Let's say I'll take a value like uh, 76, okay? Above 25, some 76 random value. I'll not test with each and every infinite possibilities. I'll only take one random value above 25 and Try to test that its age field will reject this 76, right? Because only 18 to 25 are allowed. If I give 76, it will it will not accept. That's fine. Now this side also I'll create another invalid, okay, invalid partition where I'll give a age which is less than 18. Okay, less than 18 can be 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, and so on. 0, minus 1, minus 10, minus 20, minus 100, and so on. Infinite. Again, infinite possibilities of values are coming. This data is coming out of that infinite possibilities. I'll take some random value. Let's say I'll take a random value, say 5, okay, which is below 18. So this three test data is enough for testing this age field as part of ECP. ECP means equivalence class partitioning test design technique. If you follow, you can okay filter out the finite possibilities of test data, okay, using ECP test design technique, black box test design technique using this particular ECP that is equivalence class partitioning test design technique. We can filter out the finite possibilities of test data for testing this particular age field out of the okay out of the possible infinite possibilities. Okay, if I don't apply this I have to test with lot of values 18 to 25 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25. Okay, eight values I have to test and about 25 26 27 28 to infinite infinite possibilities below 18 17 69 infinite which is not possible to test, right? So we have to apply ECP where we will filter out the finite possibilities of test data out of the infinite possibilities of test data. Okay, this is one step, but 
for example there is a uh, let's assume that this particular okay let's think that uh, th there is a text field for which the developer has written the code let's say developer has written the code in one of the programming languages for example i'll assume java java code i'll write public static void some java code i'm writing is assume that the developer has written this code for accepting the data into the text box field which will accept only 18 to 25 for that how the developer would have written the code you don't need to know java guys for understanding this at a high level you understand okay main this is how we write the code in java but uh, if you don't know java no need to worry you will be able to understand still okay just understand this code at a high level okay this one uh, i'll just uh, make it big and inside the main method inside the main method the developer will write something like this that is uh, the developer will write if okay if if h okay if h some h is greater than or equal to 18 okay if h is equal to greater than or equal to 18 and h is less than or equal to 25 if the developer has to properly write the code for the above text box field which will accept the age of a person from 18 to 25 then the developer has to write this if condition condition like this okay if age is greater than or equal to 18 and age is less than or equal to 25 then here some java code for accepting the age accepting the age should be written otherwise the age should not be accepted this is what is the code generally the developer has to write behind this text field to accept the age from 18 to 25 but assume that assume that developer by mistake has forgot to provide this equal symbol here this is a common mistake that the developers will do guys okay a common mistake a common mistake any developer will do is okay in these conditions okay they'll write the logic well but in a hurry or something they will forget to provide this equal symbol what happens with this common mistake will the ecp that is equivalence class partitioning will be able to find this particular mistake done by the developer while writing the code for this text box field no it will not be working fine because you see as per the ecp how many sets of test data we got three sets of test data we got let's try five here if a if five is passed to the age five is greater than or equal to 18 uh, is five greater than or equal to 18 no five less than 25 no uh, if i less than 25 is true but this part is false false and true means it will become false so the age will not be accepted okay age here phi is not greater than or equal to 18 right if I, this particular condition is failing so this if condition will not run the block will not be executed and the age phi will not be accepted so this age will be rejected anyhow this is invalid that is a correct process okay as per testing it's working fine now if uh, we give the second partition data that is valid test data 22 22 is greater than or equal to 18 true this condition is true and uh, 22 is less than 25 this condition is also true here 22 will be accepted 22 will be accepted as, as it is valid data it has to be accepted invalid data should not be accepted by this age field valid data should be accepted this is working fine now here if if the if the if we give 76 to this particular code 76 greater than or equal to 18 76 greater than this condition is true but 76 less than 25 false since one of the condition is false this condition will become false and here 76 will not be accepted 76 is an invalid data which will not be accepted so far testing is fine we are able to test this software but we uh, but any of these values any of this test uh, filtered out test data by this ecp were able to identify this problem where developer is missing this equal symbol by mistake developer has forgot to or in a hurry he didn't put he or she didn't put the equal symbol here were this test data able to identify the defect in this particular program which is written for this text field no that's the problem with ecp that's where what we have to do here is since most of the problems will come in the boundaries okay here equal symbol is all about boundary right most of the problems in the code while well, developer writing code will will come in the boundaries okay the boundaries will get the defects but ecp is not testing the data around the boundaries okay around the boundaries ecp is not testing it's randomly picking some equivalence class partitionings and uh, it's giving the data to complete the testing to filter out the uh, finite possibilities of test data out of the infinite possibilities but the testing is not completed here hence we hence we have to use another test design technique known as boundary value analysis technique which is an extension of the ecp 
which also counts uh, which also covers the test data which also filters out the test data for the boundaries testing the boundaries okay that tech that test design technique is known as bva that is boundary value analysis test design technique black box design techniques so on the top of ecp we have to use bva we have to extend this partitions with bva then we'll get more test data which using which using such kind of test data which is an extension of ecp that is ecp plus bva uh, filtered out test data we'll be able to find this mistakes that happen at the border in this kind of program because generally guys developers make this kind of mistakes in the with the border values okay that's the problem so let's apply the bva which is an extension of ec2 to this ex existing partitions here okay so this existing partitions which are created by ecp will extend this ecp partitions with bva how means here for this valid partition okay around the valid partition what are the borders here guys 18 and 25 are the borders right let's write 18 here okay here i'll write 18 and on the other border i'll write 25 okay 25 these are valids only right 18 and 25 are valid okay otherwise we can write inside this also you can write like this also 18 you can write 25 because these are valid range right 18 is a valid and 25 should be also be valid these are the border values which are valid so now not just writing 18 25 here we have to add number 1 to 25 what will come 26 26 will, all, will fall into which category 26 will fall into the invalid category because 26 should not be accepted by the age field up to you 25 only accepted now you have to reduce the number by 1 25 minus 1 how much you will get 24 you will get okay you will get 24 24 falls into the valid category these three are the boundary values we got okay these three boundary values extra boundary values we got by applying the bva okay apart from this 522 and 76 which we got from ecp by extending that ecp with the bva test design technique we got extra three boundary values at this level not only that guys we have one more okay another boundary is there for this example 18 is there so what we have to do here is 18 plus one we have to do okay 18 plus one how much will come 18 plus one means here 19 will come 18 plus 1 is 19 will come here okay 19 will fall into the valid category whereas 18 minus 1 you say 18 minus 1 means how much 17 will come so how many boundary values again we got here this side boundary again we got three more boundary values now earlier when we applied this ecp black box test design technique to this uh, field for this test uh, infinite possibilities of test data we got one two three sets of data now Along with this one to three, we got extra one to three, one to three, extra three, three. Total how many? Three plus three plus three. Total nine, nine sets of data we got. Okay. When we extended the ECP with BVA, this time we got, okay, with ECP we got 52276. But with by extending the ECP with BVA, we got six more sets of data. That is 17, 18, 19, 24, 25, 26. Okay. 24 boundary values we have to plus and minus boundary value we have to plus and minus for the valid range okay then we'll get the bva test data total nine sets of data we got now test it okay if you enter five here five will not be accepted you already know if i enter 17 here 17 is greater than 18 is false and since, since one of the condition is false it will not accept 17 17 also will be rejected now coming to the 18 if you give 18 yes 18 equal to 18 is true okay here condition is matching hence 18 will be accepted now 19 19 is greater than 18 and 19 is less than 25 this also will be accepted then 22 22 is already accepted we have seen that now 24 24 is greater than or equal to 18 is true and 24 less than 25 is also true so 24 also will be accepted then 25 then 25 25 is greater than or equal to 80 18 is true but 25 less than 25 is false 25 equal to 25 should be there 25 less than 25 is false 25 is not being accepted despite of it being a valid range okay despite of it being a valid test data 25 is not getting accepted by this program that means there is a defect in this program okay there is a defect the developer has done a mistake while writing the code that we as software testers while applying this bva we got this boundary value when we tested with this boundary value we got this defect we'll report this particular defect saying that age field is not accepting the valid data that is 25 this is only possible with bva guys ecp was not able to find this problem but bva when extended with ecp is able to find this problem in the code remaining all will work fine right this will be this will be 26 will be rejected or 76 will be rejected okay but 25 has 
actually this boundary value with the help of EC BVA, which we have generated is able to find the problem in the program is able to find the defect in the program program. Once we report this particular defect to the developers, developers will correct the mistakes by simply putting equal symbol here. Okay, simply they will add equal symbol here and the program will be working fine. And BVA was the only thing that was able to find the problem in this program. So hope guys you got the idea right how the okay how, why BVA is required and why BVA has to extend ECP for filtering filtering out the more finite possibilities of test data from the infinite possibility of, of test data without compromising the risk. Okay, this is what is BVA which is one of the black box design technique. So hope guys you got the answer for this question now and uh, okay you will be able to answer this question uh, if you get in the interviews. So that's all for this session in the next session. I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.